Casper Beamish Wooden Railway, episode 33, Jeremy the Jet Train. One, um, one morning, Thomas, um, um, Thomas was bringing some passengers to the Sodor Airport. He was, he was in a hurry. He needed to run them onto Jeremy fast because he was already late. He rushed straight to the airport. Hey, Thomas, said Jeremy. Hi, Jeremy, said Thomas. I can't stop. I'm, 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 I'm late. All the passengers quickly climbed off Annie and Clarabel, went through the airport and quickly boarded Jeremy. Goodbye, Thomas, said Jeremy. I hope, hope you get all your jobs done soon and be on time again. Oh, I will, said Thomas. Goodbye, Jeremy. Yep, see you in a bit, Thomas. And Jeremy raced down the runway and took off and he was soon in the air. Oh, Jeremy's such a cheerful jet plane, said Thomas. I wish I could be a jet plane. But then he remembered about the time when Thomas first met Jeremy. And after he thought about that, he didn't say a word. said Jeremy. I've never be, been this high above the island before. Whoa, looks like, oh, there's the airport. Wonder how I managed to get back there again. Whoa, but, but, and, and, but, but, but unfortunately a few minutes when Jeremy was flying, when he was almost at the airport, Harold came rushing down with an injured person that needed to be rushed off to hospital. But unfortunately, Jeremy had no idea that Harold was coming down in the exact same direction. But when they called, it was too late. Oh dear, said Harold. Jeremy, stop. Stop. But it was too late. Harold clanged onto Jeremy's jet. Ah, said Jeremy. Ah, help. Harold, why did you do that? Oh, I didn't see you flying through the air with your passengers until it was too late. Oh dear. And all the ends evacuated Jeremy just in time. Um, Jeremy went over down and bashed onto the ground. His jets were destroyed. And Harold landed on um um in a field next to the quarry mine tunnel. Oh dear, said Jeremy, how will my passengers get to the mainland now? Oh, and I hope my passenger he uh, uh, I hope my injured passenger isn't any he isn't even more injured. But unfortunately, when Jeremy was at the works the engineer said it does not look good. Hmm, he said to Jeremy. Unfortunately, we can't find any spare jets that fit you. So we'll have to use some old boiler tube pipe pipes from a steam engine. Oh dear, said Jeremy. Now my nickname won't be Jeremy the Jet Plane anymore. It'll be Jeremy the Jet Train. And... He was right. Jeremy wasn't going as fast as he usually did and he couldn't fly as high and he didn't see his amazing view and, 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 and he found it really hard to land at his runway and, and, and when he did land he, he, he'd always slip and slide and sometimes he'd bang into the airport. And Jeremy was not very happy about it. Oh, said Jeremy, I'd much rather be Jeremy the Jet Plane, not Jeremy the Jet Train. 
a few days later, the Fat Controller drove up in Winston. Jeremy, he said, I have some good news for you. What is it? asked Jeremy. Well, we have found some jets that fit you perfectly. Oh, really, said Jeremy? That's what that's splendid. Send me away to the works, please, sir. I will, said the fat controller, and he drove away in Winston.